Mr. Speaker, sir, MediaCorp, as Singapore's national broadcaster, is commissioned by the government to cover parliamentary sittings on various platforms, including Free to Air TV, Channel News Asia's Parliament microsite, and CNA's Facebook page. The public can use the recordings for personal and non commercial purposes with proper attribution to MediaCorp. And this practice is consistent with well accepted online etiquette. And the arrangement has worked well so far. MediaCorp's recordings have been regularly used by social media sites as well as political parties, including the Workers' Party. Mr. Pereira. Uh, thank you, sir. I thank the uh, MOS for his uh, reply. Just a few supplementary questions. Firstly, uh, why is Parliament not given the modest funding and ability to make its own live feed and video recordings uh, available and provide a searchable archive, as is common in other developed country leg legislatures like Australia, Taiwan, Japan, UK, US, France, for example, many of whom have their own YouTube channel or some other way of archiving video recordings of sittings. That's the first one. The second one is, uh, why does a corporate entity own the copyright to a record of parliamentary proceedings, an activity where other costs associated with creating the proceedings, such as the cost of the parliament team, for example, are paid for by the taxpayers? Why should a corporate entity be given so much power to choose what to put up when to put it up, when to take it down, how to edit it before presentation. And uh, I do know from experience that at times these clips are edited and they're not uh, archived and made available verbatim. And uh, thirdly, if the consideration behind this is cost, is it possible to rethink the allocation of cost by collecting fees on a per pay per use basis from, other, from a variety of uh, media outlets? Thank you. Mr. Speaker, I think Mr. Pereira may have forgotten the discussion that we had during the Committee of Supply. Mr. Pritam Singh asked about these issues, and I've explained at that time to Mr. Singh and others that the reason why we don't have a live feed is because this is not in great demand. At the moment, the Parliament footages are shown on television under Parliament highlights and within a few hours will be put on the CNA microsite. And the arrangement has worked well so far. It has provided the footages online, used to be one month, has been extended to six months. Just to recap, what we discussed at the Committee of Supply. The people who watch a major parliament speech, like the budget, the people who watch it on the live feed was only about 10%. Uh, 10%, 10 compared to what was shown on the free to air TV on the news that evening. And less than 1% of all viewers watched the budget live using web streaming. So Mr. Pereira has also uh, mentioned that the copyright belongs to MediaCorp. That's not true. What I said in my reply earlier was that the copyright belongs to the government and the government then commissioned MediaCorp as Singapore's national broadcaster to cover the parliament seatings and to show the footages on various platforms, including Free to Air TV, Channel News Asia's Parliament microsite, and Channel News Asia's Facebook page. Uh, Mr. Pereira also mentioned that the footages have been, I think he used the word edited, and he mentioned that uh, not everything is shown. Uh, we should clarify that that's not true. I've also explained this during the Committee of Supply. The uh, footages are all put up. They are edited to show, to arrange, to sort them out based on the speakers and the reply given. So if Mr. Pereira feels that there are certain examples that have been left out, maybe he can give me some specific examples and we will certainly look into those. Thank you. Mr. Pereira. 
the MOS for his uh, reply. Um, there was a specific example where a clip was put up uh, in relation to the Presidential Elections Act debate, uh, if my memory serves me well, in January or February, uh, and the clip that was put up of the uh, of certain exchanges, there were certain bits removed. I actually communicated with Mediacorp, and through their correspondence, they actually rec made a rectification and put up a different uh, clip. So I think that was resolved, you know, quite amicably. But I think my point is that, in general, is it the case that all the clips that are put up are completely free of editing. I think the MOS himself conceded that there is a certain degree of editing. Uh, so, I mean, th those decisions are decisions that involve a very high level of discretion. I mean, should they be decisions handled by a private entity or should they be handled by uh, a government body subject to scrutiny, subject to, to, to questioning? Uh, yeah, I think that would be what I have to ask for now. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I want to reiterate the point that when I say editing, I think my definition of editing may be different from what Mr. Pereira was alluding to. Uh, when I say editing, what I meant was Channel News Asia would take the footages and they will sort them out based on the person who asked the question, the person who answered, so as to make it more convenient for viewers to search and to assess these footages. Uh, the editing that is done is not to remove certain parts of what was said. Um, it is shown as per what is being said in Parliament and what is reflected in Hansard on the microsite and uh, on the video footages on Facebook page, so on and so forth. Now, I think it's important, uh, Mr. Speaker, that when we discuss such issues, that we have to recognise that is there a problem that we need to solve. And if no problem exists, I think one should not go around looking for imaginary problems to tackle. That's like having a hammer and then wanting to knock everything around you as though they are nails.